Let us now look at this specific classroom. This is in ESP 10 first quarter. So this will be the stream. The stream basically contains the announcements made by your teacher. Okay? It will also contain the materials uploaded, the assignments uploaded if it is enabled by your teacher. Usually, I do not uh, enable the stream to contain uh, uploaded materials. Now, if you are here, you will notice this part, the upcoming part. So here you will find all activities with their due dates. So you can click view all and it will display the assigned activities. Again, with missing part and the done part. So please pay close attention to this. Now your teachers, as I have told you, can make some announcements. And if your teachers enable enable the setting, you can reply to this announcement. For example, uh, noted. So I will just click this post and it will be posted. So again, this part of the Google Classroom vary depending on your teacher's setting. Now, the meat of uh, the Google Classroom can be found in the Classwork section. So let's click Classwork and here you will find all the different topics on the left side. So last year, I divided the topics into weeks. Okay. Of course, for this school year, I have a different set of topics. So, to navigate or to go to that particular topic, you can just click it here. So, week 10, it will bring me to all the things that I need to do in week on week 10. If I want to go to week 9, I will just click it here. If I want to go to week 6, then I will be clicking it here. Now, this is my Google Classroom for 2021-2022. Okay? Uh, as you can see, I have different sets of topic. I have pre-homeroom activities, weekly home learning plans, uh, homeroom activities, homeroom materials and digital notebook, and important resources. So if, if I would like to go to the important resources, I can just click it here instead of scrolling down. Now I can also go to homeroom uh, materials by just clicking it here instead of uh, instead of scrolling down. Now, let's go back to my student account. So, you can just click all topics and it will lead you to this uh, weekly uh, arrangement of the topics. Now, there are different icons that you need to be familiar. What are these? First is this icon with question mark, which means that your teacher asks you a question. This can be graded or ungraded. Now, if you happen to see this icon, this means that this is an activity or an assignment. Okay? Now, if you happen to see this material or this icon, this means that this is a learning material. Let's say a note, a video presentation, module, and others. Now, let us see this question. So, click view question. Which is better, Naruto or Boruto? I would type my answer here. I choose Naruto. And then you just click hand in. Okay? So that is a question. Now let us look at the calendar. Click it. And it will bring you to the calendar. And it will display all the deadlines, the due dates, okay, that you have to uh, follow. Next, the class drive folder, just like our previous discussion, when you click this, it will display all your work. Okay, do not be confused, though this is named as class drive folder, it only contains your work. Okay, so basically, those are the parts of uh, what is inside a Google Classroom. In the next video, we will be talking about how to work on an assignment.